One of the prominent members of the Rothschilds banking cartel was Amschel Rothschilds. He once quipped, give me control over a nation's money and I care not who makes its laws. He knew that if somebody was in control of the printing and issuance of a state's currency, of a country's currency, he would be in the driver's seat and he could drive any policy that he wanted. He could extract wealth and he could control people. The same thing is happening today. Now the irony is that fiat currency still affords us a measure of autonomy because you can make private party sales. But once this fiat currency is gone, and that's what they're trying to do by bringing in the new world digital currency and eliminating and decimating the dollar. Once this is gone and everything goes digital, all bets are off and all freedoms are lost. We cannot go to a cashless society. <laughs>from G. Edward Griffin. G. Edward Griffin is, uh, he is a reputable source, guys. He's the guy who wrote Creature from Jekyll Island. And he, he sources all of his stuff out. It says, vaccine companies partner with MasterCard to merge vaccines with cashless money system. And we know, according to James Bullard, who's the president of the St. Louis Federal Reserve, that this is a planned, organized, partial shutdown of the U.S. economy in the second quarter. This has nothing to do with COVID-19. This has nothing to do with coronavirus. This is about the Federal Reserve foisting economic terrorism, not just on America, but on the entire world. It says a partnership between the uh, Bill Gates-backed, I keep wanting to say Gil, uh, Gil Bates, Bill Gates-backed Gavi Vaccine Alliance and the biometric ID company Trust Stamp will test a digital identity system to be linked to MasterCard's click-to-pay system. The goal is to eliminate cash, and we're already seeing that right now. There, there are a lot of stores right now that are not accepting cash, and they're saying, hey, the Federal Reserve has already declared a coin shortage, and we can't give you the exact change back. It's all happening and just converging in one, one fell swoop. The program will be introduced in West Africa and will be tied to the CV-19 vaccine to be made mandatory. In tw mandatory. Ideas so good, they got to be mandatory. It must be a real good idea because they're going to make you do it. <laughs> Tongue in cheek there. Uh, obvious sarcasm. In 2021, your vaccine status will be updated as you receive more vaccines. No vaccines, no money. That's the ultimate control. A biometric digital identity platform that, quote, evolves just as you evolve. Oh, isn't that nice? This is great. This is wonderful. It's set to be introduced in a low-income remote community in West Africa thanks to a public-private partnership between Bill Gates-backed Gavi Vaccine Alliance, MasterCard, and the AI, artificial intelligence-powered identity authentication company, Trust Stamp. What could possibly go wrong? The program, which was first launched in late 2018, will see the Trump, uh, trust stamp, I almost said Trump stamp, might as well, digital identity platform integrated into the Gavi MasterCard Wellness Pass. It sounds so good, innocuous, it's completely harmless, it's totally for your benefit. All you have to do is give up a little essential liberty so that you can get some politically promised security, digital identity security. What a great sales pitch, huh? Are you buying? Are you going to buy it? A digital vaccination record and identity system that is also linked to MasterCard's click-to-pay system that's powered by its AI and machine learning technology called New Data. MasterCard, in addition to professing its commitment to promoting centralized, quote, centralized record keeping of childhood immunizations, that's always a good idea, to poke your child with a needle and put some DNA altering material inside of his veins so that they'll be swimming around there forever, maybe give him some cancer, Heavy metals, toxins, baby parts. Also describes itself as a leader toward a world beyond cash. And its partnership with Gavi marks a novel approach toward linking a biometric digital identity system. Guys, this is what CV19 is all about. A biometric digital identity system. Vaccination records and a payment system into a single cohesive platform. It's convenient. It's safe. It'll probably be free. No strings attached. Dial before midnight tonight. Grab yours. Buy one, get one free. Bring a relative. We'll fix him or her up too. Vaccination records and a payment system into a single cohesive platform. The effort, since it's launched nearly two years ago, has been funded via a $3.8 million 
uh, in Gavi donor funds in addition to a match donation of the same amount by who else? The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. In early June, Gavi reported that MasterCard's wellness program would be adapted in, uh, in response to the coronavirus CB19 pandemic. Remember, it's a planned, organized, partial shutdown of the U.S. economy in the second quarter. Around a month later, MasterCard announced that Trust Stamp's biometric identity platform would be integrated into Wellness Pass as Trust Stamp's system is capable of providing biometric identity in areas of the world lacking internet access or cellular connectivity and also does not require knowledge of an individual's legal name or identity to function. Wow. That's advanced. The wellness program involving Gavi, MasterCard, and Trust Stamp will soon be launched in West Africa and will be coupled with a COVID-19 vaccination program once a vaccine becomes available. How convenient. Thank you, Bill and Melinda Gates. I appreciate it. Thank you for the total control that you're going to foist on not just the American economy, not just the people of the world, but the people, I'm sorry, the people of the United States, but the people in the entire world. The entire world will be subservient to the oligarchs like the Gill and Melinda Bates Foundation. No, thank you. If you get something out of this content and you want to support this channel, one of the best ways you can do that is by liking this video and sharing it with everybody you can, everywhere you can on social media. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so that whenever I upload a video, you're one of the first to see it. If you want to further support the channel, the Patreon, PayPal, Bitcoin, and Subscribestar links or in the description below and in the pinned comment. Or you can grab one of these conversation starting, hard hitting designs that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, or mug from the shirt store. And that link is also in the description. Your purchase helps support more content on this channel. I will see you guys in the next heavily censored, shadow banned, and now 100% demonetized video.